Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Abs Daily News with your hockey coach, Guru Coach Frenchy. Today, episode number 102. What do you have on the menu, coach, today? Well, first, guys, we have the under 25 years old uh, series. Uh, we start this yesterday. For the next couple of days, I'm going to give you the NHL Montreal Canadian Prospect. The second thing I want to talk today is who can cracking the roster for the Montreal Canadian for the upcoming season. Finally, we're going to talk about the World Junior Championship update. And then finally, the NHL news today. So don't go nowhere. But before we start, you know the drill. Please click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show, sharing this video with your friends or your member or your family. Finally, below this video, leave me a comment about this episode and let's dive in and talk about the first subject of the day. So the first subject of the day, guys, is about the Montreal Canadian series under the 25 years old. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a ranking from the, all the players they have under the 25 years old inside of this organization. Here, the, all the players list we have for you guys to talk about uh, for the next couple of days. Uh, and they are not by order right now. I'll just give you name over there. Take your time. Stop the video if you want to. But you can see that we have all the players under 25 years old inside this organization with their age and their position and the date of the bird of when they was born. So that gives you an idea what we're looking for for the next couple of days. Today, guys, I'm doing the ranking 51 to 41 for you from the Montreal Canadian under the 25 years old. Number 51 is Jack Gordiak, a forward four-round pick 2018. The 22 years old returned for the fifth years in NCAA. Last year, he had five goals, 10 assists, 37 and 37 game. honestly. Uh, Jack did not sign a contract yet with the Montreal Canadian, but he is a part of this organization. Montreal will see if they're going to sign him next season when he's going to turn 23 years old. But right now, for everyone inside this ranking, I believe is the last one, unfortunately. I have to pick one <laughs> to to start with number 51. Number 50 guy is the Sweden players, the big 6'3", Arvid Henriksen, draft 2016, seven round by the Montreal Canadian. He is now 24 years old. He played in NCAA last year for the Lake Superior State University. He have only five assists and 24 game. He's still looking for the first goal in NCAA. I'm not sure. I don't see him really part of the Montreal Canadian and the future at his age. Uh, number 49, Jack Smith, forward, four-round pick for the Montreal Canadian 2020. The 20 years old, uh, played for the Minnesota Duluth University and NCA. Last year, he played 10 games in USHL with two goals, one assist. Uh, he has some problem with the COVID for the last two years. Still young, 20 years old. Still see how he's going to develop for the next uh, upcoming year but again i don't see jack part of the montreal canadian in the future a long term with them with the montreal number 48 uh, alexander gordon the russian was for what was draft six round in 2020 the 21 years old played last year in mhl he jumping for the vhl junior then he played 14 game last year and a khl with one goal this is someone we're going to follow this year. It's really important year for him to figure out where he could be with the Montreal Canadian or stay in a KHL. But he needs to establish himself as a hockey professional. The number 47, guys, this is the first one of the NHL Draft 2022 by the Montreal. The 18 years old left the USHL going to play for the Claxon University. The big 6-4 has a safe percentage of a 0.899 in USHL, uh, have a little bit better zone of playoff with 0.913. Uh, Croto is going to be interesting like any other goaltender for the Montreal Canadian and uh, as a prospect behind Primo, 
talking about Dorbs and T Show. That's another one. And Verbedic is another goaltender. So Kroto is a part of the quadrual for them. We'll see how it's going to develop in the next couple of years. I don't see what the Laval Rocket, at least for the next three years. Uh, the next one is uh, same like Emmet, Petri Nurmi, the defenseman Finland, was drafted by the Montreal Canadiens seven round in 2022. Compressively, Akoto is already 20 years old. He's a very good puck mover. Play right now for the team Finland on the World Junior Championship uh, 2022. It's something we have to be patient, see what's going to develop for the next couple of years. Again, this is a, maybe a long project for the Montreal Canadian about uh, Nurmik. Number 45, uh, I want to talk about uh, Dimitri uh, Kostenko, defenseman, third round in 2021. He is uh, now 19 years old, play on the junior and the Russia and the VHL, try a couple of games in MHL. Again, this is a really long term for the Montreal Canadian. It's very important for him to step up, play permanently now as a junior over there at 20 years old and possible at some point play in the KHL or maybe in two years. Uh, number 44 is Daniel Sobolev, another Russian defenseman. He was drafted by the Montreal Canadian 2021 fifth round. Now he played for the Windsor and OHL at the 19 years old. He's like, exactly like uh, Kostenko. Have two goals and 15 assists. Uh, and 62 game. I didn't see a lot of improvement or development about his uh, hockey sense. He will need someone need to step up. He's going to now to be a, a guy turned 20 for upcoming year. And uh, OHL is really important year. Let's move on for the number 43. It's Cam Illis, uh, the forward third round by the Montreal Canadiens 2018, the 22 years old. Play for the three teams. What are you talking about? He played in the East Coast Hockey League, an American Hockey League, and the Montreal Canadian play only one game. He have nine point and fourteen game in East Coast, nine point with the Rocket. As we have a, an injury at some points during the last season, I don't see him guys to be a part of the Montreal Canadian for a long term. Cannot find a way to be a steady, consistency player in the American Hockey League. So it'll be interesting how he's going to. Happened to him for the upcoming year. Number 42 is Jared Davidson, another draft Montreal Canadian 2022. Look, the forward was draft fifth round for the Montreal Canadian. Have an amazing, great year. And the WHL with his Seattle Thunderbird. He was the catalyzer of that team, the 20 years old, at 89 point last year 42 goals 47 assists he had 29 point and 25 games on the playoff have an amazing playoff but i'm very excited about jared davidson with the laval rocket for the upcoming year finally for the last one of the day number 41 is the undrafted sign for the montreal canadian and uh, last um spring and this i believe is a connection with ken hughes uh, play with the lowell university massachusetts uh, and the NCA, the 24 years old, uh, play with the Laval Rockets on the playoff, play 10 games, two goals, two assists. Uh, would be interesting how he's going to do this year with the Laval Rocket. Could be one of the best players, at least for the top six uh, as a forward. Like I mentioned, he was not drafted in NHL. Turn around to be successful for the Montreal Canadiens, maybe a long term. So that's complete, guys. The first uh, part of the ranking under 25 years old for the Montreal Canadiens. Of course, tomorrow we're going to go from 40 to 31. Let's move on now for the next subject of the day. Today, guys, I want to talk about Sven players could cracking the roster for the upcoming year 2022 and 2023. This is going to be quick. We're going to talk about this a bit later. It's still early. We are about, what, almost two months before the season starts. But a rookie camp's coming, and then we have the main camps coming. So I want to mention to you who could Cracking the roster. First of all, the first overall pick in NHL, Jared Slavkowski from Slovakia. Possible he'd be a part of the Montreal Canadiens for upcoming year. We know you know already know what he is. The second player one talk is Jesse Allen. Look, this is maybe the best forward they have right now in this organization to cracking the roster for the upcoming year. You have a great shot, you have a good vision, great skater. But again, Montreal is full as a forward at this moment. I'm not sure he can be a part of the upcoming year. 
but it's a really important year for him. Whatever it was, a lava rocket, a Montreal Canadian at his age right now. Montreal, we need to figure out the next 12 months if he will be part of the Montreal Canadian in the future. The next three are defensemen, and most are a rookie. So Justin Barron got trade from uh, Colorado to the Montreal Canadian again, uh, Lekanen. Look, a lot of people think he's going to be a great hockey player. Some are a bit skeptical about him. Uh, we'll see how he's going to turn around to be maybe a full time. They have enough opportunity right now. The door is full open for him to be a part of the Montreal Canadian for the full year. We'll see how he's going to react uh, and take advantage of this opportunity because he's a right defenseman. Montreal have only three right defensemen for upcoming season at this moment. The next one I want to talk about, uh, he played a 10 game with the Montreal Canadian last year, Jordan Harris, uh, one goal. Look, this is another great hockey player, left defenseman, great skater, great vision, great puck mover, struggle a little bit on defensive zone. But again, it's another one having a possibility right now to be a part of the Montreal Canadiens for the upcoming year at full time. Can he be a part? Finally, another rookie just complete his last season in the WHL, move on now as a hockey professional player. Now, Keaton have a great upside down. He, for the last couple of months, his offensive side, what we never expect from him, great hockey player for me. He's going to be a top three defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens in the future. But is it better for him to start with the Montreal Canadiens as a left defenseman or go maybe a couple of months with the Laval Rocket? Expect him at least to have a couple of games with the Montreal Canadiens. Something we're going to follow up. And I'm really excited about Kaden Coley. So this complete, guys, that... This subject about the Montreal Canadian player could cracking the roster for upcoming season. Let's move on for the next subject of the day. Here we go, guys. It's time to talk about the World Junior Championship 2022. An amazing, great day yesterday it was the quarterfinal with a four game and a shocking result. But let's talk first of all the beginning of the day. Honestly, the Finland play against the Germany. And uh, Germany hanging there until the third period, but Finland with a full goal on power play and beat the Germany by a score of 5-2. to two. Great performance overall by the Finland. Their best players show up again. It would be interesting how they're going to play the next game for the semifinal. And it's going to be against Sweden because the Sweden beat uh, Latvia. He took everything for Sweden to beat Latvia. Great performance of Lavia. This is the best story in this tournament, the team Lavia. Honestly, they perform every game and they're hanging there with Sweden until the third period with a score of one to one. Great performance overall. And Sweden's going to be now playing against Finland for the semifinal. We know this kind of rivalry they have between both countries going to follow up this game for sure. And then the team Canada score, uh, win by the score 6-3 against Switzerland. It's okay, so so game overall. What I'm talking about, that Canada did not play well as a team. Uh, penalties, then the goaltender Garland struggled. Mis mistake with the mindset, preparation, awareness. And this is something they cannot hang in that way if they want to win the gold medals. A yes. This is the surprise of the day, guys. Oh, my God. The Chet Shah beat Team USA yesterday. Unbelievable game. If you watch this game, it was 1-1. One one. USA take advantage of the first goal of the game. Then they lost Luke Hughes for a couple of minutes. Come back in the game, but never been that kind of player. He is with some kind of injury at the left leg. But... Not good enough to bring that team uh, to win the Team USA. Last by a score of 4-2 in the empty net. The captain, Jan Mizak, score another prospect for the Montreal Canadiens. So, so far, the Montreal Canadiens, their five players going to be in the semifinal. Uh, and the team, Chesha, is going to play against Team Canada. We know Canada beat them by the score of 5-1 uh, during the preliminary round. Uh, let's move on for the last subject of the day. Like you know, it's a... Uh, August, not many things going on around the league in NHL as the news, but we have the NHL draft by the Arizona Coyotes. Maverick Lamour played for the Drummondville last year in the QM, signed his entry-level contract 
with the Arizona. It is great news for the young man. Uh, we know he's going to be out until, uh, mm, I think it's December, with a shoulder injury. But again, Lamoureux is going to be a great asset in the future with the Coyotes. But today, I want to pay attention about this. Uh, not many people look or heard about this. Last year, Washington Capitals, it was the first team to put a patch on the jersey on the front. It's about like a three inches by three. I believe these are all the, the rules. But the NHL now for the upcoming year are going to have a lot of teams going to wear a first patch advertising on their jersey. And I know some of you does not like it. Some other, they don't really care. And honestly, it's not going to look like a NASCAR driver at this moment or a player from European for the next season. But you're going to see now Jersey to have a, with a patch advertising at some point for many or many teams in the NHL. I don't know if you are for or again, please leave me a comment about this. But uh, it's coming for the next couple of years. Expect that. It's under the win a month. The team makes some money. And that's it, guys. The episode is over. But before we leave, we want to invite you. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the likes. Please leave me a comment about episode number 102. And you know I'm going to reply for each one of your comments. And, of course, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, blessing day, everybody.